Hey, what's up, Cancer? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today, we're going to be doing a reading on you and the person on your mind to see the energy between you guys and see what's going on. <clears throat> Keep in mind that these are general readings. So if you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information. Let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. <clears throat> Excuse me. What you don't see coming <clears throat> is the Ace of Cups, the new offer in love. Don't know from who yet, but, or what that means, but we'll see in a second. The overall energy for the reading at the Ten of Pentacles. So you could be really focused on family life, home life, something along those lines. You may be even career with that. But let's read the energy between you and the person on your mind. You're in the Four of Cups energy. You look very disappointed. Um, they're in the Fool energy. That doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean they're new or anything. This is someone you're already dealing with because their intentions is judgment. It's like they want to come back into your life. Your intentions is six of cups. I feel like you're just making sure that you remember the past during whatever it is that's going on here. The energy between you is the devil. So there is some toxicity in this relationship. Um, with the Knight of Wands blocking, it's probably something along the lines of, you know, uh, someone being a little non-committal-ish, you know, could be. Actions for you is five of cups, maybe not pursuing something, and the actions for this person is the world. I see a possible ending of some kind. We're going to see. We're going to see. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify the fool. I feel like the person you're dealing with has options. They have a lot of options. This is something you know. It's like an impulsive, having options type of energy, to be honest. Which is probably why you're disappointed. And the devil is, is the energy in between. This is pretty specific. I see you having a choice, also not knowing what to do. You might have a choice between two and you're not sure what to do also. It might be this person and someone new. You would know that. I also see you being in a place where you might display more confidence in you, than you actually have. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I kind of mean like, you might say like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. But inside, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Because my feelings are involved when it comes to your inside, you know. There's a lot of unknowns with this person. There is a lot of unknowns with this person, with the moon being there and judgment coming out again. It's like their intentions are not clear. There is no clarity coming from this person and it's keeping you stuck. What's the judgment here for? As their intentions...
I'm telling you, they don't, okay. So this person has intention on moving forward, pretty much. And I feel like you, you kind of know that. You kind of know that this person does not have commitment energy. They have like very defensive energy. Um, yeah, I don't see them wanting this to work. Now the devil being there with the moon judgment and two of cups means that they're trying to get you to want this to work, but their intentions is not that. That is not this person's intentions. They might be telling you. And if this is resonating with you, this is somebody who's already in your life. Somebody who's already displayed toxic, toxic tendencies, toxicity. This is someone who's already um, showed you in some way that they have options. And if that doesn't uh, resonate, then it's not your story. That's okay. But this is somebody's story. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like you have. You have this energy of wanting to work things out, of being fair, and now you have intentions on just probably keeping things on a, some kind of business level. So if, if you must work with this person, it's because you have children together or there's some kind of family dynamic, but I see you more like, you know what, I'll work on things with you like that. I don't see you wanting romance. This person might try to get you to want romance. And if you don't, they're not like not trying to work with you. That's only if you are dealing with that situation. For others of you who are not dealing with kids and stuff, this is you just willing to set aside stuff to get along, you know? I don't see you... Um, I don't see you being confused in what you want. I just, um, I see some disappointment on your side. Yeah, you're choosing to walk away from this with the five of cups, the sun and temperance. I see you um, healing. I see you walking away, focusing on yourself with the page of wands, kind of learning, kind of learning how to do that not how to do that like you haven't done it before but it's just going to take some time because you're hurt with the five of cups so it's not really learning it's more like uh getting used to a new routine getting used to doing things on your own i see it taking a little time with the sun and temperance i see you feeling better if this is your story i see you feeling better towards the summer june and july Let's see the world card for them. Like I said, if they come around, don't trust this energy. They are not offering you anything good. They are not offering you anything good. If they come back around, they're going to involve you in some kind of third party. They don't have good energy. This person does not have commitment energy. They're out for themselves only. So if this is your story, do not take this person serious. If you were to jump in with this person again, you're going to get hurt with that energy. Definitely. I don't see you doing it, which is nice. See that? I see you moving on and finding someone else. So after you make this decision to move in a different direction, I see you meeting someone and I see it starting off as friends. I see communication here, text messages um, on your part, at least, because you're definitely in a place where I just got out of something. So I see you kind of taking it in a friendship way and I see someone being interested in you and it being more nice it, it being nice it's it's a nice energy it's a nice energy someone new i love it okay let's see any advice for cancer
any advice for cancer. Okay. Basically, it's like new love comes in after after transformation on your part. New love comes in after transformation, and this is what the high priestess in the middle is showing me as something that you know needs to happen for you, which is it's great when you know it it's when you don't know it that it sucks you know so i see a lot of good things coming to you cancer i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did um hit like for me and if you're new subscribe and i'll see you next time bye